All right, all this happening just down the road from Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene's district, and the Georgia Congresswoman joins me now. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, as, as we've gotten a chance to, to look over this indictment uh, since last night, as ridiculous, I think, as we all expected, many of the racketeering acts occurring uh, well outside Fannie Willis's jurisdiction, also criminalizing things like this one. This was uh, Act 100 in the racketeering, uh, saying that Donald John Trump caused to be tweeted from the Twitter account, from his Twitter account, hearings from Atlanta on the Georgia election overturn now being broadcast. Check it out, OAN, Newsmax, and many more. Uh, effectively trying to make it illegal to tell people to turn on the television and to watch a hearing. That's right, Rob. It's it's outrageous. And I actually think that Bonnie Willis and Democrats nationally, um, you know, from the federal level at the Department of Justice, Merrick Garland, Jack Smith, Bonnie Willis, Alvin Bragg, I think they're all guilty of the exact RICO racketeering and conspiracy charges that they are actually charging President Trump with, because this is a conspiracy to stop President Trump from winning the 2024 election and to silence his speech and, and ultimately actually dis destroy free speech altogether. It's straight up communism and people everywhere are completely outraged. It is something that the DAs all seem to share an ideology here politically. I mean, you've got uh, Willis's family was made up of Marxist Black Panthers. Uh, you, you've got Alvin Bragg, obviously, uh, buys into the same kind of ideology, the way that he's uh, destroying this city. He doesn't want to throw anybody in prison for, for committing crime. Uh, they all share this really just devastating ideology that is so devastating for this country. Uh, they unite around that, and, and then they try and take down somebody that's Somebody like this, somebody like former President Trump, it kind of makes sense. That's right, Rob. And people everywhere are terrified of this government. Uh, yeah. This is something that we expect in third world countries, that we expect in communist regimes. But this is what we're seeing in America today. You know, Rob, I live in a rural district. This is where people really want a dollar seventy-five gas back. They do not like the Biden policies. A lot of people on fixed incomes, like senior citizens, uh, single moms, just good working people are going month to month with their paychecks and maxing out their credit cards with high inflation, high grocery bills, high electricity bills and high gas bills. But they're watching the Biden regime actually try to arrest President Trump, lock him up in jail for the rest of his life, which is a death sentence, and then go after his supporters across the state. It's it's something that um, it, it's still shocking. I can't even believe it happened yesterday. Yeah. But I want to tell you something about Atlanta, Rob, and it's really important for people to know. Atlanta has some of the highest crime in the country, yeah. murder, rape, carjacking. And the state of Georgia is one of the worst states in the country for child sex trafficking. GEMA last week um, with Homeland actually told me that every single month in the state of Georgia, every month, men will buy a child for sex on average 7,200 times. Bonnie Willis should be going after child sex predators and traffickers. Bonnie Willis should be going after murderers, rapists, uh, car theft. But that's not... Bonnie Willis, uh, no, she's not. That's and not she politically be beneficial. There's, there's no political benefit to going after those people and doing what's right for society. That's the problem uh, with the system that we have.